so today's my best friend's birthday. Each time I make a memory, then I try to make it with you. Dizzy just made himself a cup of mo mocha, hot chocolate and coffee. What's up besties? Good morning! It's been two full weeks since I picked up the camera to vlog. To be honest, I don't even know where this vlog is gonna go. I don't even know what I'm doing. I just felt like I had to pick up the camera. I felt like I just had to keep going, you know, so... Here I am. He's supposed to be at school, but they're here. What's up? Remember the time when, when, when that big fire was going like, and then it went like, brace yourself, and then okay. Did it scare you? No, it didn't. Yesterday was Diwali, so we were watching fireworks and stuff. Yeah. Fireworks is Oh, yeah? It's scared me. Did you scare you? And do you want to say something, Bolola? Mm hmm What do you want to say? Say. Mm hmm why are the curtains closed? Bulala. Why? I'm a buddy. What? I'm a buddy. Is it you and Buddy? Yes. Mm. Is there something in your teeth? Let me see. Uh, move your finger for me. I don't oh, see ah. anything. Mm -hmm. Is there something in your teeth? You get a food face. Food face, food face, food face. These are all the puzzles that, that they have. Okay, so where are you struggling now? So what happens if you try to do it by numbers? Is this all the pieces? Yeah. <laughs> Hear my chest, how we beats for you. These numbers don't add up, people. Maybe. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Let me see. Sometimes, when I see this shape, I look for the pieces that go together. Loop. That one's too skinny. Aha, haza, found it. Who makes a circle puzzle for kids? <laughs> I know who it's from. I'll do this later. He just put his own shoes on. Ding, 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 <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Da -da -da. Da -da. Now two more pieces to go. Ladies and gentlemen, she did it. I knew you could do it. Now give me the high five. Bam. Oh wait, we're gonna make short sleeves. You want me to make short sleeves? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's make short sleeves. I always cut up these t-shirts. Because I know Bonola's not going to wear them anyway. Instead of buying him short sleeves to wear here at home, I just make the long sleeves into short sleeves like that. And we're good to go. This we got literally last year. It's been over a year of this being washed every single weekend without fail. And they're still in excellent condition. Three, two, one, go! Whoa. Do you like your short sleeves? Are you ready to go? Let's go. Thankfully, we went back when we did. Bernola wasn't even sleeping. Yeah? Yeah, it's hot. Yeah? That's Daddy's car. <laughs> Where? Yes, that's Daddy's car. Oh my gosh, and the tire is going flat. Daddy's tire is going flat. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. You guys look so adorable. Peanut's been begging to go to the park. As usual, I think they're just very frustrated because they haven't been to school in four days. The last time they were at school was on Tuesday. Today's Friday. I'm taking my small one hour break to take them to the park because everybody's so cooped up. I have my phone here because I'm expecting a phone call and also work because Teams and everything is on my phone. Don't touch that. Eep, that's somebody's car. So taking them out for a walk and hopefully they'll be feeling much better but we're all in shades and hats because it's piping hot and we're walking on a shaded area but not a don't touch. They're touching people. What? Okay. Where's food? Okay. She just saw a, a guy, an Uber Eats delivery guy on a bike. She says, food, food, yeah? Yeah. Run. Run. We've created junkies. Look at them. The last time we said here, Bonola was still just the concept. Don't take it up. Nope. Don't take out your hat. You took off your hat. Not cool, bro. Not cool. Sharing is caring in the parking lot. Yeah? Your one's got sprinkles. Let me see. 
Look at those sprinkles. Yum. We just got this incredibly exciting package. We've been talking about this for so ridiculously long. I swear, sometimes it's like the stars just align and the universe just hears what we talk about in this house and it just happens through collaborations with different brands. So anyway, I'm gonna do a quick unboxing so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. So let me get it first. Look how cute the packaging is. I swear I'm gonna have to make something out of this. It's with Philips, yay. Ugh. I'm trying to place my... Okay. Vacuum, guys. Vacuum! The shop is called Fantastic. As in, like, fantastic right there. And they make beautiful wall murals. Check them out if you want to. Better. Just the other day I was saying we need to buy a, a new carpet for our door outside. I literally was telling you because the one we have there is so purple and it's collected all the dust. Mm. Shut up. No way. That's our surname. What? I like how portable it is and you can let it stand up like that. I can't wait to that. You can't wait to vacuum. Be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. High suction power, 1.8 watts max, designed and developed in Europe and it's got two year guarantee. This is new in the country from what I understand. And this is the Philips 2000 series and it is quite affordable too. It's only 1.799, so 1 1.8. I'm gonna assemble it and then I'm gonna try vacuuming. I've never owned a vacuum before, so this is actually very exciting because we're looking at getting one because this carpet, look, it, it's, yeah, it's hiding a lot of mess in there. Look how much lint and dust was in these two carpets. So much lint, it's insane. It's standing on its own. While I'm cleaning or whatever, I don't have to worry about where I should put it. You just hook the thing here and you're basically good to go. First impressions, I absolutely love it. I think for its price tag, it's actually pretty amazing. The only thing is you can't use water with it. So if the kids spilled juice or you want to suck out the water from the couch, you can't do that. You can only suck out, you know, the food debris, the cramps, all of that not so fun stuff. And you can reach under like bats and stuff because it turns, so it's really really nice thing for me i just need to get used to it because this is officially my first time ever using a vacuum like i'm not even lying i wanted to share that with you guys and yes this we didn't pay for it it's a trade exchange the stars just aligned you know we're talking about getting that rubber band the rubber bag we're looking at different options we actually saw one and take a lot the reviews were not so good so we were kind of sort of stuck like do we get the traditional vacuum or do we still look at a rubber bag and just when we hit a brick wall i got an email about this collaboration i was like well then we don't even have to work hard on making that decision anymore so next time we get somebody to come help us clean they're not going to look at me like you don't have a vacuum last time we had a lady come here from tidy up she was like um where can i get the vacuum and i'm like we don't have a vacuum she was like what <laughs> it was pretty funny a lot of plants are making new little leaves too this is new this one is new and this one is new which is really really cool they're not dying on us i love it this one i'm not too sure it's so busy there's too many things going on here so i'm not sure if it's growing or not look at dizzy did we changed our carpet that was pretty cool the old one is sad this one also has two more leaves this is new in fact i caught a little bit of this when it was getting born i have some footage from that and this is also new so pretty amazing stuff they are not dying on us guys so i don't know what i was so worried about they woke up quite late from their nap it's 4 p.m right now so instead of giving them a full meal that's gonna keep them from eating their dinner we're having simple truth strawberry cereal is it good How's it done? Is the milk done? Let me see. It's funny when she drinks the milk like this. Oh yeah, nice. If it touches her chest, she breaks out in hives. But around her mouth, it's okay. Yeah, you're done with the milk? Now you get to eat the cereal? Nice. 
Hello. How are you? Fine, how are you, man? Okay, thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. This whole bunch of boxes. Huh? Ooh, I love boxes. You love boxes? Yes. And I'm just gonna let them be over there. It's actually stuff for his birthday on Sunday. I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog. I know you guys are probably wondering what happened, what's going on, and all of that not so fun stuff. Um I'm gonna try to get through this without like being a tearing mess because I'm one of those people I don't cry in public like you'll never see me cry in public and if you do see me cry you must know that it's really like yeah it's it's bad I'm always working off of that mentality that you know just keep it moving you'll deal later just keep it moving you'll deal later that's just who I am two weeks ago I lost my best friend. It's been, it's been just such a weird thing because you know, one minute I'm completely fine and then the next minute I'm an emotional mess. She's been battling with breast cancer. I feel like I'm still on that denial phase. Um, I was talking to my friend who happens to be her baby sister and she shared this different stages of grief and I'm like yep denial that's for sure and she said I think it's actually disassociation more than it is denial and I'm like you're completely right because it doesn't feel real I mean the first thing that comes to my mind when I wake up in the morning is my friend and I still go to her whatsapp and I still check I don't know why. I honestly don't know why. I used to text a lot, especially during the last few weeks because we couldn't go see her. Um, I didn't want to risk it, you know. Um, the kids are going to school and we all know the germs at school and stuff. And we, we just said two or three weeks after we get the vaccine, it's fine, we can hang out. And we went to a funeral. I remember seeing the coffin and and there's a huge photo of her on the on the projector screen and with this big grin on her face and the person that pops to my mind is we're never gonna get to see that smile again i'm an emotional mess let me keep it together and i'll be back hold on one of the things that i really loved about our friendship seven years straight it was never that social media friendship like we never felt pressure to take pictures together. Even though now more than ever, I wish I did. I wish we took more pictures. I wish we remembered to take more pictures. I wish we didn't eat as much and talk too much and just took pictures, you know. But at the same time, I'm grateful that I was in the moment. Every single time we hung out, we were in the moment. The only time we take out our phones is if we had to text our husbands and tell them we are here or boyfriends at the time because we've been together with them since before marriage tell them you know we'll be home at whatever or whatever it is that we had to do but it was always just so refreshing hanging out with her i'm not gonna lie it's hard to process everything when i also have to be a mom my heart breaks for my kids because they lost such an awesome auntie she really was family and she hated hugs so much like she hated being hugged but i remember the day peanut was born she came to the hospital to come get katie bear and she you could tell i was so nervous and i was shaking and she gave me a hug i remember hugging her and saying oh my god i'm shaking so much because i'm so nervous and she said i know but you're gonna be okay and when Fernanda was born, one of the craziest days of my life, and she was there with her husband. I remember being such an emotional mess for her wedding because she heard her wedding on Saturday, and on Monday, she was going in for the operation to get one of her boobs removed. And boy, am I grateful that when I got her, I got her sister too. She wanted us to live. She wants us to travel. 
you know, in the moment and live in trouble and go on adventures and not be sad. I would give anything to see her one more time. But I know she's okay. I know she's not in pain. It's not, yeah, some days are better than others. Some days truly are better than others and some moments are better than others. I, I go through my days where everything is okay and then there's this one random trigger out of nowhere. I honestly don't know how life's going to turn out to be like without Bridget. It's going to be a huge adjustment and it probably will take time. So yeah, I right now I smile, I work, I laugh, I keep it moving. I keep it moving because that's what she would want. That's what I would want her to do if the wheels were turned. I would want her to do exactly that. Keep it moving. I could talk forever about my best friend. But like I said, we didn't have the social media relationship. In fact, I don't even know how much of this I'm going to share here. But I just wanted to say something. Appreciate you guys so damn much for all your condolences, messages, for reaching out to me on Instagram, you know, for, for caring and for feeling my pain and for feeling our pain because it's not just my pain. You know, her sister, her parents, her husband, she and her poor husband. Oh, you in well, you just